Hi guys, I'm White Up Gamer, and yesterday was my birthday, and today we went out and bought a couple of items, but I picked up this wonderful thing, which was, luckily we actually seen it, my girlfriend spotted it, and it's a uh, collector's edition from Jurassic Park, um, legacy kit, 25th anniversary thing, and it's full of um, goodies, Jurassic Park goodies, so I thought I'd do a little unboxing video just to see what's in it, and to see if it's any good. So I've got my B-roll person here, so there's a nice close-up shot of the box, and uh, we'll we'll open her up. So it's covered in plastic as usual, so you can tell that I've not actually touched it. I've literally got home ten minutes ago. But it seems like there's pretty cool stuff in there, so why not spend some money? It was around forty pounds. I think it was thirty-nine ninety-nine in the shop that I bought it from. But well, it supposedly comes with a banner uh, when dinosaurs rule the earth banner, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, license plate, code, postcards, safety instructions, and all for um, a lanyard, VIP pass, Mr. DNA pin, Jurassic Park stickers, a ticket, um, Jurassic Park pin, some trading cards, a Mr. DNA sticker, and a T Rex sticker. So we'll uh, check it out and see what we've got. So let's open this. Hug it up if we can get into it. Ooh! So we've got a letter signed documentation from John Hammond, President and CEO of International Genetic Technologies. It says, Dear Visitor, on behalf of the entire InGen family, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Jurassic Park. By visiting Isla Nublar, you are continuing a fascinating adventure more than 65 million years in the making. You are about to enjoy an experience like no other, a journey back in time to a chapter in history that man was not around to see with his own eyes. Please explore all the facilities on offer. We have worked hard to make your stay on the island and forget it on an unforgettable one. All you need to do is sit back and enjoy the adventure. In this kit, you will find everything you need to make your visit to Isla Nublar an experience of a lifetime. Welcome. Jurassic Park and it's uh, signed as well so that's a pretty cool start nice close-up shot of that if you can really cool I wasn't expecting that but that's really cool signed by him as well and if you see the cat wandering around that's what he does it's about to start filming this so you know the typical about to start so first thing that pops up is the Jurassic Park license plate which is like so, pretty cool. Thin, I think it's thin metal. I'll hang that up somewhere. Uh, <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. So it's still in its plastic. Oh, that is, that is pretty cool. Probably put that on the wall somewhere. Okay. Or on the car. Yeah, really cool. So that is, that is awesome. Next is our three day adult pass ticket, which was uh, $550. So, not on the uh, the cheap scale there, but it's got a lovely picture of the T Rex on it, um, barcode on it, and it says it's valid on consecutive days, not for resale, so I cannot be sold again. But the detail on it's pretty good. And we've actually got a back as well, so your purchase includes transportation from Costa Rica to Isla Nublar via ferry. Three nights at our five star Isla Nublar Resort, one tournament of golf, um, free admission to select 3D showings, and 25% discount on all food and merchandise, which would have been handy if it was ever real. But the detail on this ticket itself is actually quite good. Um, it says in very small, I've not got my glasses on, so I can't really see very well, but upon arrival at Isla Nublar, present this ticket to acquire your Jurassic ID Pass which is required at all the attractions and menus. So the detail just in this ticket itself is is really good. It looks like a, a genuine ticket for a theme park or a show or something. So that's pretty cool. It's number 250, uh, 245. So one of the first 250 people to get into the park. But that is pretty cool. It's really, and it's obviously got a picture of the uh, T-Rex on it as well, which uh, is really nice. So I'll get that off well. So there's the front, really really cool, and then 
the back as well. Really cool. Still cheap, cheaper than a trip to Florida. It looks like we've got a uh, what's it called? Booklet. That was it. I couldn't think of a booklet. Or brochure. Brochure of uh, Jurassic Park. So we've got the front of Jurassic Park with a nice yellow logo on, and then a picture of mountains, misty mountains. So I've got some detail of some skulls about it. So we've got a Brachiosaurus skull, a Delphosaurus, or a picture of I think what looks like a Gallimimus, a trike, and some sort of crocodilian skull. I can't quite like, sure. Then you open it up and it's got the Jurassic Park gates, which is really cool. And then we've got, I think it's Mandarin or some sort of Asian language. I'm not quite sure. I don't know what my knowledge of languages and so but I've got some general information here as well along with some pictures of some of the resorts so one price admission for the theme park includes um, entertainment meals and accommodation all rides tours and attractions are included um, special group rates park hours and um, additional information catering banquets and major credit cards are accepted and then we open her up and we've got a tracking map of the island as well the route. So the dinosaurs that they had on tour are all here as well. So we've got the Brachiosaurus, Gallimimus, Triceratops, Parasolophus, uh, Proceratosaurus, Metricanthosaurus, Stegosaurus. Stegi, it's not, it's not a Stegosaurus, it's not a Stegosaurus as such. Stegi, could be. Um, we've also got the T-Rex, Velociraptor, Dilophosaurus, Herrerasaurus and the Baryonyx are all on the tour and you've got a nice road map of the, uh, the island as well. As well as where the helicopter landed and where the electric fences are and everything so that is pretty cool. Uh, on the other side, just cast the true colours of Jurassic Park on Chroma Gold Plus Film, which I assume was a um, film. I have a film that you bought for cameras back in the day, back in the 90s, early 90s. So that is the detail, and that's pretty cool again. Really cool. Sweet. Pop that down there, we'll get a close up of that in a bit. And then um, we have uh, night vision goggles instructions. So that is a nice add on. So your night vision goggles are underneath your seat. Press the on switch on the side of the goggles, and the red indicator light on the front will turn on. And uh, it's basically like one of those safety um, things that you get on airplanes. So it's uh, again a really cool addition. Um, put the goggles on on just the top to sit right, um, and use the side controls to adjust the focus and field of view. So again. The detail, the detail in this has actually surprised me a lot, considering, I mean, it was £40, but the detail in all the stuff that we picked up so far has been really impressive. There's a lot of detail going into it, and it looks like a, it would be like a genuine thing that you would pick up at the, at the, um, at the park. Um, do not leave your vehicle under any circumstances. We know how well that... So that's everything on the front, the rest of the box is covered up. So we'll open this section and wow. So we have the Dinosaurs Rule the World banner. So I want to open this and check it out. This is, this is going somewhere in the flat. And it made out a decent material. I thought it might have been like a plastic material, but it's actually like a, like a cotton. And that is, well, do you need to say any more than what that is? That is weird. I think that's worth the £40 in itself, just to hang up. That is so cool. Really, really, really cool. I don't think we need a close-up of that, do we? Really? <laughs> but, but that is, that is super cool. That's going to go somewhere in the flat somewhere. 
and hang it up because that, that is I think that's probably as I said like it's worth 40 pound in itself just because I've never seen them anywhere and it's like that that is so cool that down there and um, here come the pins so this is going to be you're not going to be able to see this at all but we've got really nice Mr. DNA pin the detail and it's pretty cool seems give me pin actual pin bent a little bit here <sighs> don't say that I want my refund a little bit fiddly to get off but we'll double have a another look at it another time but it's Mr. DNA you can't really say much more about Mr. DNA on air I'm sure that'll tear up somewhere we'll put it back in the plastic if I can there we go keep it safe and we also have the cat coming into the view again I'm gonna say hello to everybody on YouTube we also have a Jurassic Park pin goodbye he's off on one uh, with the yellow logo and he's about to start playing. <laughs> uh, which again is it's just like the Mr. DNA one. Can't see, we'll get a good close up to that after I've finished filming. And again, the quality and it's it's proper decent metal as well. So really cool. I'm so impressed with what's in this. And it was just by chance that we seen it as well. Didn't think anything like this existed, to be honest. You're welcome. And then we have trading cards. Some stickers so we've got a mr dna sticker um, again it's going to end up somewhere in the flat our uh, the ip jurassic park pass so we are vip vip access uh you're required to wear this pass at all times in in a prominent position pass remains then remains in the property of jurassic park on isla nubar inc must be surrendered to an authorized representative upon request so obviously you wear this and if you're not wearing it then somebody on security can pull up here yeah, pull you up and go where's your you know thing about you also get a vineyard as well or vineyard to put it on as well which is again cool so licensed by universal studios so i assume you might pick this up from universal studios now and obviously we haven't got a universal studios around here so again it's interesting now we've got a really cool t-rex kingdom jurassic park postcard Um, which is similar to what's on the front of the box. Um, this is never going to get used, I'm never going to send this. But it says on the back, greetings from Jurassic Park. And um, yeah, it's a really cool bit of artwork. Get as close as you dare, plan your visit. Uh, T-Rex Kingdom, see the legendary predator in a natural domain. Um, which again, is a pretty cool addition to what we have in here. We've got our Jurassic Park trading cards. Are so we've got the park gates, the Gallimimus. It could be, it could be what we find in the Jeep. Shannon just said that's possible. Not too sure. So we've got Brachiosaurus, Parasolophus, and Kylosaurus, Compi, Autobotosaurus, Pylophosaurus, Pteranodon, Critiosaur. Triceratops, Pachycephalosaurus, Stegosaurus, Giant Tyrannodon, uh, Myasaurus, Velociraptor, Spinosaurus as well, and the T-Rex. So we'll get a good close-up of them um, after I finish them because I'll just be like that. So they are pretty cool. And they come in a nice little wallet, which has uh, got the T-Rex in front of it, on the front with the Jurassic Park logo, the 18 unique cards so there's that we'll get a close-up of the uh, cards afterwards I'll put that down there also got some more stuff I haven't seen so we've also got another T-Rex sticker which is the T-Rex with the park eight so you can see there and another number another number another Jurassic Park logo sticker as well and another postcard with possibly an Allosaurus, but it looks like it's supposed to be a T-Rex, I think, because I've got the two fingers. Uh, Greetings from Jurassic Park, Lanuba, Costa Rica. 
they can look more cool artwork on it as well, which I've not seen before. So really interesting so far. I think we've got a few more items left on the other side, I think. Is that or is that it? Just break the box. No, that's everything. <laughs> so there we go, some really cool items in there. I know we'll goodbye. I've really enjoyed opening this and, and I've been really impressed with the quality of stuff that I found in it. I thought it would just be some cheap stuff, but there seemed to be genuine kind of care that I've gone into making these stuff. Um, I don't know where you'd find them around. We came 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 up upon them by chance in our local kind of nerd shop with all the pop vinyls and all stuff like that. So I wouldn't really know where you would find them in your area apart from likes of World Apart or Forbidden Planets if you have them there. Um, but it does look like they you can get them from Universal Studios, according to the uh, the lanyard. But yeah, that was really cool. I thank you for joining me today, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Leave me some comments, and let, let me know what your favourite item is in the unboxing video. Uh, if you're new and you haven't already, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!